We are the Tissue Viability Team here at East Cheshire NHS Trust. And, and we, we are, are here, here to turn your attention to pressure ulcer prevention. Imagine these two apples are areas of redness on a patient's body, usually over the bony prominences. The apple on the left, if we touch this apple and let go, we can see it turn white and is now returning back to being red. This is known as blanching erythema. However, the apple on the right, if we touch this and let go, it hasn't changed colour, it's remained red. This is known as non-blanching erythema. All staff can play a role in pressure ulcer prevention. As an assistant practitioner, I encourage my patients to keep moving. As a long sister, you can escalate pressure damage to me. Hi, I work for the professional practice team. Be sure to complete your pressure ulcer prevention training. Occupational therapists support safe transfers and positioning to relieve pressure. As a housekeeper, I can model your pressure ulcer prevention equipment. I'm a physio and I keep patients moving. Hello, I work for the professional practice team. Please remember to use your slide sheets to prevent sheer rate friction. I'm a dietitian and we help optimise dietary intake to maintain skin integrity. Hello, I'm a staff nurse and I regularly check my patients' pressure areas and document any changes. As a community staff nurse, I ensure that I complete my water low assessments in a timely manner. As a healthcare assistant, I continuously do position patients to prevent pressure damage. So, every single one of us has a role to play in pressure prevention and together we can hopefully make a difference.